what is going on guys welcome back to a brand new video how to play like a pro player series or not a series but something i started doing in mw and i decided with league play back and me trying to help you guys i wanted to do it again so we are back with some rate control here two down if you are new to the video or new to the channel basically while i play i'm going to explain why i do certain things give you guys some tips and some insightful things to help you guys become better and there's three mid holy moly nice little tomb beam there reach out jump a shot the jump shot is very very deadly throw a little flash here just like flash check flash two actually a cool flash as well. and wow there's three and i'm dead so control is definitely a little bit different than hard point and i love doing these in hard points but sometimes it's just hard to find a hard point game so after a couple tries we're just gonna do some raid control here now my teammate died right that's four dead they might be getting a basketball spawn here, which they are. Basically, you spawn basketball, back jungle, or laundry. And since my teammates are kind of influencing the left side of the map, they get the basketball spawn. Nice little jump shot two-piece there. Now they should spawn back jungle. Yep, here it is. Go for the fort. Damn, go. So, big thing to know in control. Obviously, you're trying to do the objective. You're trying to win that way, but kills are obviously very important. Right now... I am 10 to 3, but aside from that, it's 19 to 12. So they have, we have a 7 kill advantage right now, which is big in general, especially in the competitive scene. 7 kills is a lot if you just trade effectively, efficiently, and you actually take your time with pushes and stuff. Like, it's very hard to lose these type of rounds. So we should almost never lose this round. I'm gonna turn around to that guy right here. They're spawning laundry. So they're gonna be money and cut. There they are. And this is basically a GG. I have no idea what my teammates using using LC10. Actually, looks pretty funny, but pretty deadly. I'm gonna be this guy money. This get rounds basically GG. So at this point, I mean you can play the round, just to play the round, but at this point, you kind of wanna just go for the kills. Because the kills will help you get defense, which is very, uh, very I can't good. Be, like, seriously can, I can't. So obviously those are rounds, like at the end of the control, like it helps you getting kills to get defense. So at that point, when you know the game's over, you might as well just go for the last couple kills and, rather than capping a point. Just a little heads up tip for you guys. Three dead right here. Last guy's water. That's four. So right here, they should be spawning gym or bottom bed. Looks like it's a gym spawn. So my teammate's pushing bottom bed. I'm going to hold all of Z. This is Z. You hear him sliding. Guy's on me. And I stopped shooting, but teammate Snade's going to finish him off. Now, they're definitely going to be eight here. So we get two down. This is basically my moment. And I choked. He had some good shots on me. So normally a team would eventually wrap B here, but these guys just want to keep smash head to head bashing A. I mean they are close to capping it, so I can see why they would want to do that. Get one here. Now I can see them rotating the B. Because my teammate did spawn them bed. There's the B push. Guys should rest mid, kill him. This guy wraps back, kill him. So they spawn AC, the AC spawn. There's one, should be another one there. No. So I do get a close A spawn here. I'm gonna play it kind of safe because I am I know I'm the only guy here. I'm gonna play a little sneaky that way. Get a nice little two piece. So when you're kind of the only guy in the area and you know multiple people are about to push you, you always wanna try to catch them off guard, right? Like you gotta use your positioning to your advantage and that's kind of what i did there i played it a little sneaky didn't really show myself and was able to get a nice two piece to stop the cap so either way they're about to cap a again or actually my teammates decapping it um 17 to 5 this round again is about ggs that you get you can actually wall bank that as well if you didn't know i saw two dead they're team killing i think they have lost the plots he killed you because i killed him so I'm going to hit mid here. I wouldn't really recommend to do this unless you have a teammate at least. But I'm going to do either way. I'm going to test my limits to the sub. I'm going to gun Nemo to bed. Hopefully he gets a good night rest. I'm going to push down mid here. One guy's flanking water. Help my teammate with that guy. Look for the water guy. Now normally I wouldn't recommend doing this. I should have just pushed up laundry. So I don't want you to look at this play and be like that was a good play. This is more of a kill whore play. But it's going to pay off. I'm going to get a nice two here. Make it through almost three. Wasn't able to finish that last bullet. So off spawn, I get a close B spawn. I know my teammates at B. I see two of my teammates at A, but there's a high chance, especially because I spawn right side, that they're going to die. So I'm going to wrap to my teammate to B. And a good play you could do when you're trying to cap B is get basketball control. You see how I'm basketball now? 
Now, it makes it easier for my teammates to cap the point because I have positioning of this whole area. So it makes it a lot easier for us to... This gives us basically more uh, map control and more, more positioning on the map, which is really beneficial when it comes to map control. So teammate dies. I don't know what the hell my teammates are doing, but I'm going to wrap back for that kill. I also got water steps. Teammates are at A, so they might get a close spawn to me. They're probably spawning back jungle right now. 16 to 20. We have two ticks almost on both, which is nice. Um, when you have two ticks on both on raid control, like, there's a high chance you're going to win a round because it's so easy to get that lucky spawn or for the other team to mess up and spawn you close to the next point. So B is pretty much capped. Objective completed on this point. It's the last one. So now when you're ever in, you're in this situation right here, guys, whenever the A point's the last one and you're kind of in their base, what you actually want to do is you want to flank laundry. So right now we're spawning them laundry. We're spawning them here. We don't want that. So you want to flank it like this. And then once we get these kills, if I can get one, once we get these kills, they're going to start spawning behind this basketball. And that is what we actually want. So that's two dead. Now my teammates spawn killing them. Right here, they're spawning basketball. Um, this At this point, the game's GG. So we have two takes. Uh, I'm just going to play kills with my teammate. They're actually owing mid, it looks like. So they're just spawning basketball or water. And they're just owing mid. Maybe got mid. There's a guy mid, like I said. And, um, I mean, it's GG's at this point. But we're just playing kills. So we kind of trolled and didn't cap the point. We could have easily won. Like, I could have just hopped the point and we win. But... Either way, um, we, we have a minute left. I'm just going to play the game the right way if, as if I was trying to win the map. I'm going to pinch again while my teammates are hitting that. Usually, you're going to have a 1v1 here, so you have to take your time. You guys are all at the point. And that now for sure is a GG's. These guys are going to spawn basketball water. Looks like they're probably going to OE again. That's what a lot of people tend to be, do. They just OE. One guy actually wraps back. I'll grab that kill. But, I mean, if your teammates are on the head glitches, it's just a <laughs> good, man. 40-11. It's just money. It's just money, baby. Yeah, definitely a pro. Code name, baby. All right, guys, that was like how to play like a pro player, just giving tips and basically explaining to you what I'm doing in game. Obviously, it's a little bit hard sometimes when you're in the mix when you're when you're playing to do live comms and also give advice and tips while you're playing, kind of explain what I'm doing. But I try my best to do a good job. Obviously, I could do better. The more I practice it, the more I do it. It's gonna get a little easier for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's new video. Make sure to leave a like. If this is something you're actually really interested in, I could start like a little series and like do this more often and make it like a common thing and just keep giving more tips and more tips and other obviously other maps. Uh, game mode like Hardpoint. Hardpoint is a very big and important game mode and a very played game mode. And I could give a lot of tips. There's a lot to learn. And Call of Duty, man, obviously there's talent, there's gun skill, all that stuff, but it's a lot of knowledge, a lot of timings, positioning, you know, what to do in certain hills. There's a lot that goes into this, and maybe if you if you play at a high level or you understand this, then you know. But if you're kind of new or you don't look at it that way, a lot goes into it. So I'd be down to do something like that. Leave it down in the comments below if you'd like to see something, something around that. If you want to leave, you know, the ideas behind it, what, what kind of way you want me to do it. But basically, in a sense, how I just did today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips, gameplay, and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.